But the first step to making an item is choosing a preset. In the item wizard, there are eight presets to choose from. There's an item, consumable, sword, pickaxe, and one for each armor piece. Next, you'll put the name for your item, and if you want it to be stackable or not. Next up is the functionality page. This is where you can choose how much armor it gives, how much durability it has, and the repair item and repair amount. After that, you can decide whether or not you want your item to have an enchanted glint to it, even while it's not enchanted. Finally, you get to the export page, where you can choose whether you want to create a new mod folder, add to an existing one, or export it as a Minecraft add-on file. Then you can choose what you want your pack to be called, and if you want a pack icon, then you're good to go. Once you finish the first part, you'll be directed to choose between painting the item first or the model first. I recommend painting the item first because it's easier to design the item and then transfer it to the model. It can take a while to get something right, so don't rush and take your time. You should start by painting the base, and then after you have your base, adding decorations. If you're basing your item off of something that already exists, like how I am basing my item off of the Warden and Skulk, then you should pick out a starting palette before starting to paint, so you don't have to go back and forth picking colors from what you're basing it off of. Just pick the main colors that you're going to use, and then you can change them as you need. Now, let's move on to the model. If you already painted your item, the step should be fairly easy since you already have the colors and design chosen. It also helps to keep the shading off when you paint the item because it makes it harder to see what color the item actually is. The item icon and the model are not the same scale, so you will need to make some adjustments. Once you finish, you can use one of the preview scenes that Blockbench has to see how your item would actually look in the game.
and that's it now when you load minecraft your map pack should be there and you'll be able to use it in game